Hi, in this video we are going to discuss one of the statistical approach case test to find the distribution of the data. In previous videos we are discussed one of the another approach that is a QQ plot. It's a basically graphical approach to find the distribution of the given data. But uh, sometimes we need a value at the time the graphical approach is not useful much. At the time we are going to use the case test. For this let's consider an example to get more things. Let's x1 and x2 are the two random variables. We have to find these two random variables are same distribution or not like in the qq plot also x1 and x2 are the say are two random variables we have to find that these two random variables are same distribution or not like in the qq plot we have to consider a target and another is the actual that we already know let us consider x2 is the target distribution that we don't know and x1 is we actually know known distribution like in the qq plot we are going to say that these two distributions are same or not by using the another one let's go some deep dive into this one let us consider x1 contain n number of points x1 contain n number of points and the distribution we know let's consider gaussian distribution and x2 contain m number of points we don't know the distribution to find this distribution we are going to use case test initially we are going to find the cdf functions to the two random variables x1 x2 now let's plot those things for suppose the cdf functions to the x1 random variable is x1 and this one is like that and for x2 it was like this here we are going to find the supreme distance between these two cdf functions what is the supreme distance means uh, the maximum distance possible between these two cdf functions at particular value for suppose this might be a maximum distance possible at some value at x equal to let's take this one at x now the distance we can calculate uh, the distance that we are found at point x we call as calculated value that is decalculated is equal to the supreme distance at x x might be any value between these two range but it value will be same for the x1 and x2 at the point f1 comma m of x minus f1 n x because okay now this is the calculated value now we are going to find the decritical value decritical value is equal to the c alpha m plus n by m into n we already know the m and n is the number of points we consider in the x1 and x2 and c alpha here the more number of points we are going to consider the decritical is going to be low and c alpha is equal to minus 1 by 2 log of alpha by 2 and the alpha value we will, we will, we will get in the problem statement 
by substituting C alpha here we are going to get the C critical now we have the C calculated and C critical values are there now let us check what will be happen what are the values which is if D calculated is less than D critical then it tells these two distributions are going to be same distribution x1 and x2 are in same distribution if d calculated is greater than the d critical then x1 and x2 are not in same distribution that means here x1 we consider as a Gaussian x2 is not be a Gaussian Gaussian distribution this is the other things about the case